Hello everybody. In today's lesson, we are going to continue practicing with rational expressions, not only add and subtract, multiply and divide too. So let's see. In the book on page 222, we have question number 26. These are complex fractions, rational expressions. So the best that we can do to avoid mistakes is to Separate the numerator denominator, take it one by one, separate, and get their simplest form. And after, move back and simplify the fraction. So let's see. Numerator, it's 1 plus 1 over x equals. Fraction, make the other one fraction. Same denominator x, so times x. So 1 times x, x plus 1 over x. Denominator x minus 1 over x, fraction, make it fraction, same denominator x, so times x, equals x times x, x squared minus 1 over x, and equals x squared minus 1 is difference between perfect squares, so we can factor it into x minus 1 times x plus 1 over x. Now, we take the numerator, denominator, and move them back into our fraction. The first one, keep it. x plus 1 over x. The fraction line represents division operation, so divide changes into times. The reciprocal of the second one, which means x over x minus 1 times x plus 1. Simplify by common factor, it will be equals 1 over x minus 1. So this is the answer in simplest form. Let's try more. Question 27. So as we did before, numerator, denominator. So I take the numerator, 3 over y plus 7 over x. Each one put it into brackets and same denominator it will be xy. So the first one times x, the second one times y equals 3 times x, 3x, 7 times y plus 7y, all over xy. I take now the denominator, 1 over y minus 2 over x. And each one, I enclose it into brackets and check the same denominator. So the first one times x, the second one times y, it will be equals 1 times x, x, negative 2 times y minus 2y over x, y. So this is numerator in simplest form. This is denominator in simplest form. Now I move them back. And remember, the operation between numerator and denominator, the fraction line, it means to divide. And to divide the first fraction, I keep it as it is. Divide changes into times the reciprocal of the second one. So xy over x minus 2y. Simplify by common factor and the simplest form 3x plus 7y over x minus 2y. Question 28. So 1 over 8, numerator, denominator, plus 1 over b. The same denominator AB, so the first one times B and the second one times A. It will be equals B plus A all over AB. I take the denominator A square minus B square all over AB. Already it is given in simplest form, but we can factor the numerator here into A minus B times a plus b all over ab. So then, 
The numerator in simplest form is b plus a over ab. Divide changes into times the reciprocal of the second fraction, which is this one. So I will put the reciprocal, which is ab over a minus b times a plus b. Simplify by common factor. We still have common factor here. B plus A, it's the same A plus B. So we can simplify by it. It will be 1 over A minus B. So this is numerator. And this is denominator. Already it's only one fraction. So simplest form, one fraction, simplest form. All we have left now is to factor every single part, every single expression we see here. And instead of divide, we will do times the reciprocal. So I will write for the first one, how to factor it. It will be what times what is negative 12. And when we add this negative 1, so it will be negative 4 and 3. So the first one, it will be factored into z minus 4 times z plus 3 over. Down, what times what is negative 15? And when we add this negative 2, is negative 5 times 3. So to factor it, it will be z minus 5 times z plus 3. Divide the fraction line, changes into times the reciprocal of the second fraction. So let's put the denominator goes up in numerator. What times what is negative 14? And when we add this negative 5, and this is negative 7 and 2. So to factor it, it will be z minus 7 times z plus 2. And 12, what times what is 12? We add it's 8, it's 6 and 2. When we multiply positive 12 and when we add this 8. So I will factor it into z plus 6 times z plus 2. Now let's look for the common factors. z minus 4 up. None of the denominators, they have z minus 4, so we cannot simplify. z plus 3 up and down, simplify. z plus 2, z plus 2, simplify. Minus 7 plus 6, we cannot simplify more, so it will be z minus 4 times z minus 7 over z minus 5 times z plus 6. Let's try more. Rectangles A and B. So this is rectangle A, this is rectangle B. Are similar. An expression that represents the width of each rectangle is shown. So this expression is the width for A and this is the width with 4b. Find the scale factor of rectangle A to rectangle B in simplest form. So it will be x squared minus 25 over x minus 4 all over x plus 5 over x squared minus 16 equals. In this way, we found, we got a complex uh, fraction. So this is the numerator and this is the denominator. Both of them are in simplest form, so we have left two factor. So x squared minus 25, x minus 5 times x plus 5 over x minus 4. Divide changes into times the reciprocal of the second fraction. So x plus 5, it goes down. And x squared minus 16, it is x minus 4 times x plus 4. Now we will simplify. x minus 4, x minus 4, x plus 5, x plus 5, it will be equals 
x minus 5 times x plus 4. In simplest form, so we can keep it in this form or we can distribute x times x, x squared, x times 4, negative 5 times x, so it will be 4x minus 5x minus x, negative 5, 4 minus 20. So or we keep it like this or like this. Which of the following compound fractions simplifies to select all the that apply? So that we can say which one of those is equivalent with x plus 1 to x minus 3. The only one way is to take it one by one and get its simplest form. So I will get the a first. And already numerator, denominator, it's only one fraction in each place, so they are in simplest form, so we will factor it. So what times what is 4? And when we add this 5, it's, a, it's 4 and 1. So it will be x plus 1 times x plus 4 over negative 8, it will be 4 times negative 2, so x plus 4 times x minus 2. Divide changes into times the reciprocal of the second one. So negative 2 and negative, uh, negative 2 times negative 1. So x minus 2 times x minus 1 over positive 3, negative 4. So negative 3, negative 1. x minus 3, x minus 1. Simplify x minus 1, x minus 2 x plus 4, it is left, x plus 1 over x minus 3. So, A, it is equivalent with the expression given. I will take the B in the same way. Numerator, denominator, and each one of them to factor it. Already they are given in simplest form. x squared minus 1, it's x minus 1 times x plus 1. Over x squared minus 4, x minus 2 times x plus 2. Divide changes into times the reciprocal. So let's see. What times what is 6 when we add this 5 is 2 and 3. So x plus 2 times x plus 3. And negative 7, x squared plus x minus 7, we cannot factor it. So we keep it as it is. x squared plus x minus 7 equals... We can simplify by x plus 2, and that's all done. So it will be x minus 1, x plus 1 times x plus 3 over x minus 2 times x squared plus x minus 7. So this is the simplest form, and b it is not equivalent with the given expression. So be no. I will take the same. Numerator, denominator. Already numerator is one fraction, so it's simply form in numerator, denominator. All we have to do is to factor them. So let's see. What times what is negative 5 and when we add this 3? It's 5 and negative 2. So x plus 5 times x minus 2. And that one, it's x minus 4 times x plus 4. Divide changes into times the reciprocal of the second one. So x squared minus 1 is difference between perfect squares, x minus 1 times x plus 1, and negative 5 times 1, when we add this negative 4. So x minus 5 times x plus 1. Simplify by common factor. Let's see. 
x minus 1 is not any other 1 and here so they are not equivalent. It will be x plus 5 times x minus 2 times x minus 1. All over x minus 4, x plus 4 times x minus 5. So even c is not equivalent to the given expression. Let's try the last one. Numerator, denominator. So we have one fraction, which means it simply form a numerator, denominator. We have left to factor. So we will negative 10, it will be 5 times negative 2. When we multiply negative 10 and we add this 3. So it will be x plus 5 times x minus 2 all over 6. And when we add this negative 5, it will be x minus 3 x minus 2 times the reciprocal of the second one. So numerator goes down. x minus 5, x plus 5. And denominator up, it will be x minus 5 times x plus 1. And now we simplify. x plus 5, it goes with x plus 5 x minus 5 with x minus 5, x minus 2, x minus 2, it is left, x plus 1 over x minus 3, and this is equivalent with the given expression. So the correct answer, it will be A and D. Thank you.